All right, do we actually want to try to tackle the frass puzzle now or just go back to Frank and Joe pill? Let's do the frass puzzle. No. <laughs> oh, okay. wrong answer, I yes, guess. Yes, that's right. You picked the wrong choice. <laughs> All right. It's the illusion of choice, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, let's at least follow up with what things are going on with Joe's land because, uh, er, because, you know, Nancy doesn't Don't even know. Don't call Ned. Nancy doesn't even know what just happened to Joseph immediately after he hung up the phone. Hello? Frank? Well, hi, it's Nancy. Sorry, guess I expected Joe to answer. Well, as it happens, Joe's at the clinic getting treated for a concussion. Yikes. What? What happened? Someone jumped him while he was poking around Big Island Mike's Immersion Center. Just after he left that message for you, That's in Big fact, Island Mike's Immersion turned around and wham, you. gets knocked unconscious by someone swinging a big wooden mask. And he didn't see who did it. So you don't know who did it? Not yet. So what's going on I with you? I bet it was Quigley. Well, have we just see. counted that the mask could have been haunted by Phew. an evil spirit? This Quigley lady sounds like she's going to be a real taskmaster. Anything I can do to help? Uh, was Frank actually just, like, surfing the entire time Joe got smacked up on to, upside the head? Like you, I, I, he was, actually. Oh, my Ta God. Take a look at this. This is such a weird encounter. We're Frank Hardy at this moment, but we're controlling Nancy's dialogue. That's so weird. I could use some help identifying some of the plants that, that the weird. brass jars are hanging next to. I'll take a look around here, see what kind of information I can dig up. I'll let you know what I find out. Great. That's it for now. Talk to you later. Maybe Frank, maybe Nancy is just a figment of Frank's imagination, and he's just like, yeah, having a phone call with himself. Anyways, let's That'd be, be a plot twist. Big Island Mike, are you liable? What's that? What is that? Davies Pawn Shop, Kona, Hawaii. There's a number. Three items, paid in cash, four hundred fifty-one dollars. I'm on to after thirty days. Interesting. It's a pawn. Wait, oh, I forgot that that's how pawn shops work. Is that like you bring in an item and you loan it to people and then they give you money for it. And then when you need your item back, you just to pay back the amount that you took out. What's he on? Little like calculation there. <laughs> He's doing his QuickBooks. Yeah. My man is evading taxes. We love it. Look how angry he looks. Frank, how's you your heard you? You back from the clinic yet? No. No, they wanted to keep him under observation for a while. Thought he'll be fine. Joe's nothing if not hard-headed. <laughs> we should have just Any been like who Joe him? passed like away this the morning. Probably just <laughs> some bum who wandered in off the beach looking for cash. Just some bum wandered off the beach. Does that happen a lot? Does that happen a lot? A couple times a year. Really? As soon as they see me, they run like heck. But today I was I believe around, that. So yeah, you're kind of scary. Somebody sure. figured he'd help himself. Uh, did anyone take anything? Is anything missing? Nope, not a thing. Look, whoever the nope, guy nope, was, he's no worry. richer, I'm no poorer. He's gone, I'm here, no big deal. Well, except for your brother getting walloped like that. Well, it was irresponsible of you to leave your lobby and, like, access to cash unlocked, sir. I mean, so. it was locked, we just stole the key. No, well, I mean, this room. Oh, this whole room? This room. That is true. Anyone could have just come in and done your taxes for you, Mike. Do the police have any leads? Nah, real low priority case for them. The one guy I talked to barely looked around. But hey... You want to look around? Play detective like on TV? You go right ahead. I feel like they're Sir. all referencing Hawaii Five O, but I've never actually seen it to now. I'm with ATAC. I am with ATAC. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Is this your pawn ticket? I found it over there. Never seen it before. Then maybe it belonged to the guy who clobbered Joe. Or maybe it's been lying there for weeks. The guy who cleans this place doesn't exactly keep it spotless. Namely, me. No, I wasn't there this morning, dude. Good talking to you. Anytime. Yeah, we're, we're observant, damn it. Well, we're gonna go ahead and uh, crack some skulls right outside this door where he can no doubt hear us. Pawn broker. Pawn broker. Who's Richard Akins? Oh, he's our bo- oh, yeah. Wait! Oh. Let's call Richard let's, Akins. Let's call Richard Akins. This is rare dialogue I haven't heard in ages. He's interesting. Richard Akins. Hello, Mr. Akins. This is Frank Hardy. Calling from Hawaii? Yes, of course. In fact, I just got out of a meeting in which Pua Mapu was the main topic of discussion. Marketing is enthusiastic about using I've never her, known but this they phone need call. to move quickly. So, if there's anything unsavory about the Mapus, I must know now. Unfortunately, yeah. my brother was in the process of looking around Mike Mapu's office when he was knocked unconscious. That happens a lot to the Hardy right? The clinic mm -hmm. wants to keep and him Nancy. under observation for a while, that's all. The bad part is, he didn't see who did it. Do you think the Mapus had something to do with it? 100%. I guess it's possible. Mike Mapu said it was probably just somebody who wandered in off the beach looking for cash. 
but I won't know anything for sure until I do a lot more checking. Please, do it quickly. Time is of the essence. Well, that's all for now. That's it for now. So, Keep up the good work. Is ATEC paying for his medical bills here? Or, like, what's I don't on? know. <laughs> I mean, hopefully <laughs> they can do it. Maybe this seems like a liability. Yeah, he needs insurance. Nope. No, you plus you called Aiken. You were gonna call Aiken. I again. know, I know. That is a major problem with the, this hitbox. The phone hitboxes are so bad. All right, pawnbroker, pick up. Pawn shop, this is Davey. I found a receipt from your shop that somebody dropped. I'd kind of like to find that person, so I just wondered if you could maybe tell me who you wrote it out to. Sure. What's the number? This is a little moment. It's receipt moment. number. Five seven four four one. Hang on. Twenty one dash three seven. I was gonna say it like Lamont. Twenty one dash three seven four. Uh, listen to his whistle. That was made out to. Uh, oh, How well do you know this guy? The, the Bradham. Ooh. I don't know him at all. Total stranger. Well, you're not the only one who'd like to find him. Turns out the stuff I bought off of him was stolen. Cops are looking for this guy too. Interesting. Name's Johnny Kuto. Apparently he's got a pretty nice career going for him as a freelance thief. Ah. Address he gave me turned out to be bogus. Gave me a cell phone number too, but he never picks up. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot to talk about. I want to hear about this. What did you mean when you said Kudo is a freelance thief? You tell him what you want, he'll steal it for you. For a price. Cops say he's pretty good. Think he's stolen everything from microchips to airplane parts. Hmm. Damn. I wonder at what point it's cheaper to just buy the thing than have someone steal it. I know. What kind of stuff did Kudo sell to you? Let's Microchips and airplane parts. <laughs> Police said it was smaller than the stuff he usually goes after. Probably just needed some pocket change. Mm. Camera in the PDA. Do you have any idea why Johnny Public Kudo would be hanging around affection? a business called no, Big it's like a Island pager, Mike's Immersion Excursions? Police mentioned that he's uh, always looking for places to hide what he steals until it's safe to deliver it. Maybe somebody at this excursion thing is helping him out. A fence, possibly. Mm. Think you could give me Kudo's phone number? Got it right here. 808 555 You have the guy's phone number? Good luck getting him to return your call. Yeah, he left it on his sheet. Hey, I really appreciate your help. Anytime. Mahalo. Mahalo. Why did the guy sound more Australian than anything? Wait, we should actually say it is. We should actually just call Johnny Kuto. Oh, isn't this super funny? Hey, you're the punk who hit the my brother. The person you have called oh. is not available. Uh. At the tone, please leave a message. Hey, Johnny. You don't know me, but you know my brother. He's the one you slugged when you were at Big Island Mike's. I know what you two have been up to. Ooh. So if you're smart, you'll give me a call. 280555. 7263. Damn, Joe. Frank. That well, was pretty good. The guy never answers his phone, so I doubt we're going to be hearing from. Hello? This is Kudo. What do you want? Mostly, I <laughs> want to know so why you good. my brother. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. That's so good. He sounds so scary. He sounds like Wait, a... well, we, uh, we should be smart here. I'm... He sounds like an anime dev. Yeah, from the mop. Uh. Let's not do this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about the thing you got going with Mapu. Got nothing going with that overgrown jerk. The guy oh. double crossed me, okay? So they we did have a deal. deal. I came through, he didn't. So I went looking for a way to even the score. Your brother was in the wrong place at the wrong time, that's all. Okay, okay. What? What? What was it Mapu paid you to steal for him? If we say this, we're presupposing something that may not be true, so we might get more information out of yeah. him if we ask this. Yeah. Why do you think Mapu double crossed you like that? You don't know anything about this, do you? Hey, I know all about Damn it. Damn it, Jamie. Fact. No, wait. I Hello? feel like we got the same Hello? thing if we said the other you thing. You there? Shoot. Horse feathers. Well, uh, I'm sure that Richard Aikens would like to know that. I know Ooh, this is our fifth yeah. phone call in a row, but I want to keep the man updated. Sorry, guys. Sometimes you need a good phone call Richard sesh. Aikens. Hello, Mr. Aikens. This is Frank Hardy again. What have you found out? There's a chance that Mike Mapu is somehow Some very involved efficient with a thief work. named Johnny Kudo. Yeah. What do you mean Within five minutes, we've learned all well, this. Well, I'm pretty sure Kudo is the guy who clobbered Joe in Mapu's office. And when I talked to him, he indicated that Mapu had double-crossed him somehow. Somehow? I need specifics, Ugh. Frank. I need facts, and I need them now. <laughs> he he <laughs> got so angry. Time to get back master. to work. Keep up the good work. It's like Howard Hamlin yeah. from Siberia. Well, sir, I had to surfboard for five hours this morning. I'm so sore, man. I'm sunburned. <laughs> hey, Frank. 
How's Joe doing? He's uh, he, dead. he passed away. He's passed morning. away. <laughs> He's okay, but he'd feel a lot better if he knew who My attacked him like dead. that. I have no idea who that guy was or what he was up to. Nothing like that's ever happened to a guest before, ever. Your dad says it happens three times a like year. Well, if she doesn't say that, you? he says there's break-ins. Oh, this is funny. Are you not going to sue us, are you? Maybe. I mean, we are friends with this girl whose father is a bigwig attorney back home. You're kidding, right? About our friend's dad? No. But about suing you? If my brother sued someone every time he got smacked upside the head, we'd be in court for decades. <sighs> That's a relief. Uh-huh. No, I'm take not sure her to how court. to tell you this, but I have reason to believe your dad is involved in something he shouldn't oh, be. This is what do you mean? We're dealing too like many what? cards here. Yeah. Like hiding or maybe even fencing, fencing stolen, stolen property. property for someone. What? Look, it's a real, real long story, and I can't. Listen, man, I'm just here to serve. So I just really noticed these worry. things. I'm not a detective. What was say trying to hide a bunch of stuff for somebody? Where do you suppose yeah. he put it? Wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh. Where do you think he put it? That's what he's been doing in there. This island is riddled with lava oh, she's tubes, tunnels made by ancient volcanoes. They go all over the place. My dad knows them all. Lately, he's been spending a lot of time in one of them. Wow. He calls it the chamber because it's so big. Didn't but he refused to tell me what he's been doing. I was going to sneak down there and see for myself, but the earthquake caused this huge cave-in near the entrance. I can't get past it, but neither can my dad. So, whatever he's been keeping down there is still there. So, there's oh, no other wow. way to get into this chamber thing? Yes, there is. I can't from believe the this. Water. From it the says water? So this old chart my dad has. What do you mean from the water? And what are you waiting for? The problem is, you can't just snorkel to the entrance. You have to ride different currents to get there. The chart supposedly Jeez. says how to do that, this sounds but like I've a never good been able to, to figure it out. But if you can figure it out, you might be able to find the entrance. Ride different currents. But if you do, and it turns out that my dad is doing something illegal, I want you to promise me that you won't call the police without talking to me okay. first. I, this is not at all how I expect this conversation to go. Yeah, and she's been very imagine open. Imagine you're Pua and somebody goes to you about your dad. The first thing you're going to do is go to your dad about somebody talking to you about this. She, she just immediately complies with everything. She might be into Frank. I don't know. She's more open with us than Joe was. I can't do that. Maybe. Then you don't get the chart. Then again, maybe Why I Why would you say that, that, Jamie? I promise uh, I won't call the police. Say it. You're... I promise I won't call the police unless I talk to you I first. am the police. Okay. okay. The chart's in that old trunk in the immersion center. To open it, you'll need to know what my father calls his favorite flavor of shave ice. Ah, I can never remember, so gosh. you'll have to ask him. <clears throat> just don't oh, make me sorry I trusted you. Oh, what a fucking amazing puzzle. Don't well, make me sorry I trusted you. What if... Oh, I, I don't know. This is all just so crazy. All right. Uh, so a couple I things. I thought I had a on grip on a grip on things, but now I don't. I'll yeah. let you pick. Now renting snorkel gear for thirty Big Island bucks. We're cert currently at thirteen, I guess. So well, that's thirteen USD. What's the conversion rate? I don't know. It's like, can I go to Chuck E. Cheese and just bribe the guy behind the counter to give me the fuzzy dice? No, they did a regular show episode on that. Bottom line: Do you want to go fishing and make seashells to get some money now to get snorkel gear? I want to do the Shaved ice puzzle. We're doing the shaved ice puzzle. Do you remember the solution? No. Oh, then absolutely. This is all you. Enjoy. I, I just remember we have to make him infinite snow cones. <laughs> Jamie, this is ridiculous. All right, all right. I'm this is so... Hey, what's going on? Ever heard of a guy named Johnny Kudo? Never heard of him. Are you sure about Never. That? No, no. You ever work with somebody named Johnny Kudo? <laughs> or maybe he took one of your excursions? Why are you asking? I think he may be the guy who clobbered Joe. Playing Kojak, huh? Well, I wish I knew something about this what does that mean? guy. But Probably another Hawaii Five-O reference. I don't know. I'm curious. What's your favorite flavor of shave ice? Tell you what, I'm kind of hungry, so I'm gonna make you guess. He's gonna be you really hungry. You make me a shave ice and bring it back here. If it's my favorite flavor or mm. combination of flavors, I'll tell you. If it's not, well, you'll just have to keep making them till you get it right. <gasps> oh, oh what a fucking good puzzle! Like I always say, a busy customer is a happy customer. Good Dude, talking that is to you. not talk a good. Later. That's not a good motto for your people vacationing. Some people want to relax, you know, Big Island Mike. Okay, this is this is such a fucked puzzle, honestly. So oh, many yeah, of the puzzles yeah. in this game are bad, but they're just funny. So hold on. It's a dollar per. <laughs> oh my god. This oh. guy better pay us back. Oh boy. All right. His favorite flavor of shave ice. You gotta figure out what it is. I'm gonna. So it's three things, right? Yes, you can pick three. three flavors. But can't I also just cover one in a flavor and he'll be like, yes, that's it. That's one of them or something. Yeah, you could do that. 
I feel like coconut has to be one. The correct answer is three different flavors. That's the only hint you're getting out of me. I feel like it's gonna be one of each of these. What I do, coconut lime. What is this? Mango? Mango. Feeny, now I'll just take this to Big Island Mike and hope that it's his favorite flavor. Mango sounds tropical. Yeah. Why are you assuming that he likes tropical things? Maybe he likes artificial like grape and watermelon flavored. It could be. Got a shave ice for you to try. Let's have it. <laughs> oh my god, we can watch this man eat them all ah, while we pay you for them. Did it. What that the fuck? Was my favorite flavor combination. Are you serious? Lime, coconut and mango. Oh. I call it honey hour. I did not know that. Sour kiss. Oh, come on! I did not know that. I was so ready to make like a dumbass compilation of you getting the wrong thing for 30 minutes. I didn't minutes. know that. Ah. I, I just assumed coconut would be one of them. I. Wow. Oh, man. This is gonna be the fastest. What's flavor. it called? Honey Awa? Honey Awa. And there's a apostrophe at the beginning. Good Sour kiss? Anytime. I would like that too. Well, actually, no. I don't like, I don't like coconut. I love coconut. I What's your like, problem? I would like the mango. I don't know how mango would go with lime though, and it definitely wouldn't go well with coconut. Okay. Oh, you know what? I would probably try straight banana. Ourselves. Straight banana. Dude, I can't. I can't even emphasize. I mean, I just want to have Frank try it. I can't even emphasize that you. That was like fucking Indiana Jones picking the right grail in Last Crusade. Like, how did you? What are the odds here? We have nine different flavors, and it's three configurations. What is that like? Is that nine to the third power? I don't know how math works. There. I don't know. Mm, that was pretty good. This is pretty good? Okay. Well, try just banana. That's what I would do. Just a banana flavor? See, I'm a huge artificial banana person, guys. Fucking there Laffy Taffy fiend. Mm -hmm. That hit the spot. Hit the spot. It hit the spot. Well, I'm sorry if you guys were looking for a long... No, I was. <laughs> I was <laughs> looking for a long time failure session. That was actually crazy, though. Pony. I sh I thought that you were messing up at least one of the ingredients. Otherwise, I would have like gone out of my way to stop you from getting the right thing right away. I just I I don't know what I did there. Whoa, weird looking dude. Looks like he has something to do with getting into that chamber thing. But what? I've I, wh never seen him before. Why does he just keep Maybe this outside? Nancy has. Hello. Hey, Nance, it's me. Listen. I just came across something kind of weird, and I thought I'd see if oh. you knew anything about it. I'd love to be able to help you. This what is the is dude it? who was in well, the, the cave. Well, it's a drawing of this creepy face that has a mouthful of teeth with all these animals on them. Wait a minute. We just saw I that. I saw a face like that. It was carved into this wall I found while emptying frass jars for Quigley. Tell me more about the animals. Well, there's an eel, a turtle, a shark, a manta ray, a porcupine fish, an octopus, a crab, and an urchin. It's a lot. Mm, interesting. <laughs> Maybe I'll go back and take another look at it. It has something to do with this old map I found, so I have the feeling it's important. Then I'll definitely take another look at it. Thanks, Nance. See ya. Alrighty then. Do you think ATAC is like a subdivision of the FBI or something? I think ATAC is just one of those groups that's like started by federal agents to entrap kids into committing petty theft. Hmm. So what, we have to go back up there? Or down there? I was like, or... we're gonna go three finger rock to get the rest of the frass. I like that idea. Are we gonna try the frass puzzle now? Because it's... I'm not opposed. All right. Let's do it. Yeah, we can at least just, you know, get the samples. We seriously can't talk to Quigley again, though. We try. I might have been wrong about we that. We haven't talked to a Sir. Oh, these, these ones are bananas. Dr. Professor Malachi Craven. Blue ones are bananas. I thought bananas cost like seven bucks a banana in Hawaii. No, do they? Maybe they just look like bananas, but aren't actually bananas. Bananas are so cheap. If anybody watching has ever lived in Hawaii, not just stayed for a vacation, tell us about your experience there. Was it extremely pricey? I did do know that they serve spam on everything at McDonald's, which is actually really interesting. Didn't know they had McDonald's in Hawaii. See, that's what I want to know. Dude, they have fucking McDonald's in, like, Tibet. <laughs> well, it's everywhere. 
I just want to know what an authentic Hawaii experience is like from somebody who's lived there, okay? You want to hear an authentic Hawaiian experience by someone who's never been there? Or even seen the Pacific? Because I, I have an interesting piece of trivia. In Hawaii, they actually do serve spam on like everything McDonald's, and they just love spam in Hawaii. Well, it's high in protein. They're all jacked. Great. Well, it's it's not, but you know why? It's really interesting, actually. Why? It's because we had our base at Pearl Harbor in World War II, and we were gearing up for the war to go like on longer because we weren't very certain that uh, you know, the atomic bomb would bring such a sudden stop to the war. And they, we had just ordered like a fucking massive amount of spam for the military reserves that went right to the island. And then the war suddenly ended as we got like this industrial supply of spam, which as you know, never goes bad basically. It's just like super slurry high in sodium. So we just kind of dumped it out of the military reserves and the impoverished people all took it in. And then spam, just like the, the cured meat salad became like a huge staple of the Hawaiian palate. Mm. And now they have like spam and eggs at Hawaii. You get like a slice of spam on the uh, the burgers and stuff at the restaurants and like muffins. I know this because my teacher in the sixth grade lived in Hawaii. She was a very fun and nice lady. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how we figure out which plant is what. Jamie, well, well, already I think we failed in that we haven't paid attention to what is surrounding each phrase. Well, I mean, already right here, banana is one of them. So number eight is banana. That's blue. But we have to match it to. Okay. I think, I think we're so, not if I were this enough. plant, what would I be called? I don't know, Nancy. That hardly helps me. Yeah, it doesn't help at all. No, 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 no. Where do we weigh this stuff? Well, we know that blue is the banana, so that's 08. We do all the actual work with it back at Quickly's camp. Um. Purple. What are we looking at now, purple? Well, okay, well, where was purple gathered? Yeah, we're looking, purple's in front of us right now. Two traps, green and orange, are at Kapu Cave. To sort and record trap contents, find trap, record and analysis. Well, okay, how do we know what plant this is? Is there a, is there a plant book somewhere we're supposed to look at? I don't know. <laughs> or a leaf book? Yes, something? there is. It's on the kiosk at Big Island Mike's Emergent Excurbent. Oh, are you kidding me? Thank I gosh, we have such you. impeccable... Excuse you. Mr. F. Get over here. Dick in. I want hey, your help on you this investigation. Trouble? Trying to. Everything hand okay? Is stuck. Oh, yeah. Then I guess I'll get back to work. <laughs> Bye. His hand is stuck. <laughs> he got his other hand. He's, like, he's stuck in a fly trap. Tammy, help him. He might be in distress. No, he's, he's good. Come here, kitty. Mr. Okay. F has not helped at all with this investigation. Detective Fluffer. Not yet. He's a he's a loose cannon, that rookie. What are we looking at? Money for information. Reddits. Hawaiian plants. God. Huala. Wait. What is this music? It's sort of similar. Mm. It's it's long green leaves. Well, it was three fingered leaves. That's not so. it. Not halapepe. That looks like a. It's not it either. The one that's pink well, we is need, ah, okay. well, you need to remember all this though. Yeah. Uh, acacia koa. That should maybe be it. No, it's not. Wheelie wheelie is the one that looks like a spider. Spooky. Well, where are you getting that from? This thing. That looks that like, looks a, spider. like a spider. Yeah, it looks like a crazy fucked up mutant spider. Okay. Uh, naupaka. White flowers. Mm. Uh, kului. Banana plant. Okay, we Banana that plant. One. Candle nut. It's the one that has a visible nut on it. Myconia. It looks like a Wizard 101 oh, boss okay. name. It does sound like that. I really think purple was the first one we saw. Yeah, Maybe. it might be. Well, Do we take pictures of this, or is that too cheesy? We no, no can do. No, yeah, I, I am a big proponent for taking pictures. All right, go ahead. Fire off a snapshot, boy. All right. Hold on, I mean... Male trees produce foot-long clusters of tiny, fragrant flowers. Okay. Next tree! With lightly colored bracts. Next tree. A la pepe. Next tree. A la lolly. Got it. Toa. Got it. Wheelie wheelie. Got it. Nopaka. Got it. Kului. Got it. Banana plant. Don't need it. Candle nut tree. Got Iconia, it. Iconia, and that's all of them. It'll I'm cost you another Big Island buck if you leave and come back. Yes, I got my money's worth of plant pictures. 
You know, I would like to take a look at more of those as we continue this game. Yeah, and I also want to play the game in there, too. Oh, yeah, the, the really shitty rock, paper, scissors game. I don't... You just spoiled what it is. I didn't well, know what it was. Well, it's like the most lazy game they've ever made. It's a it's Nancy Drew side game. Hey, Nancy, it's Frank. Hi, were you able to dig up any info on plants? You betcha. Great, let's hear it. Well... The Puhala tree is about 30 feet tall with long leaves and support roots. I swear. Roots. Now, if Nancy goes in her marks every time she sees one of these. The Ahali'i plant has small green leaves and distinctive purple clusters. The Koa tree is very tall is with simple shaped down? leaves. Yeah, the Wheelie Wheelie tree drops its leaves, then blooms in the summer. Now, Paka is a shrub with white flowers that look like they've been torn in half. The Kalu'i is a shrub with fuzzy oval shaped leaves. The banana plant has huge leaves and bears, ta da, bananas. The candlenut tree is bushy with clusters of tiny white flowers that develop into green nut-like jobs. And myconia, boo, is an extremely invasive <laughs> tree with big leaves that are green <laughs> on top and purple on the bottom so and have three bad. veins. Okay, Just destroy anything else you want to know? Uh, no, not the right Asian now. Asian carp Good. of plants. How about I talk to you later? Deal. Okay, well, we should be able to figure these out easier now. I, yeah, but if Nancy starts remarking, I'll be like, bro. My, that is Myconia. I, I think it is. Yeah, it looks like a Poinsettia. We know our Hawaiian plants here. By Jove, it's Myconia. Red is Myconia. Red is Myconia? Okay. Um. No, wrong thing. Oh. Hey, Nancy should be ripping those plants up. Ten. Yes, Nancy, do your part. Blue plant is a banana. banana. We know that. Uh, yellow plant. That's the white flower one. Yeah. Naupaka, I believe. It was, it's an alpaca? Naupaka. It is Naupaka. 06. Is there actually vegetation out at the volcano? There yeah, is. There field. is. Volcanic plants. And then... Yeah, um, I still stand by. I think this was the first one. But let me see. <sighs> it's difficult to say. I think it's Puhala. Look. Let me see if I can't get a better look at the tree. Maybe? Or it's this, but I... I think it might be that one, because go back to the Puala real quick. Zoom in. See how there's, like, fruit at the middle of those? I don't see oh, that Oh, yeah, here. it does look like there's a pineapple. I think it's, uh... You think it's the Hala Pepe? Hala Pepe is my call. Okay. Okay, so purple is Hala Pepe. And then we just have to go find green and orange, which we're back at the cave. Okay, hopefully we don't die trying to look at freaking plants in a volcano. Uh, yeah, sh where's error, those plants? Error 404, where's plant not plants? found. Is there one that's just like soot and magma? No, actually, where's the plant, Quigley? There isn't one. There isn't one at the other one, too. What does it say on here? Capu Cave. Two, two traps. Like hell they are. There aren't any okay, plants it's here. Pro is there proximate vegetation? Is there anything around it at all? Oh, wrong. oh my goodness. There's nothing at all. Wait, is spider webs a vegetation? Maybe? Uh, kind of looks like go, there was go, a jungle Go part. to the orange one. Yeah, there's nothing. How are we supposed to figure this out? I mean, I, I thought so. There, there's no way that there can be vegetation out here. This seems like a question for quickly. Yeah, maybe she can tell us. Almost, is it is it an option to just type nothing and that's fine? It doesn't seem like it would be. Yeah, I don't think that's it. I just wondered if you knew what the deal is with all those webs at Kapu Cave. Don't worry, they were made by Norsa Beta larvae, not arachnids. I mean, spiders. I'm not sure why they like that cave so much. Must have something to do with their food supply. Oh, I was just curious. I'll get back to work. Uh, I wanted to know more okay, things well, than that, actually. Wait, Wiggly? what if we have to Could search what those larvae here? eat? Like, what if they eat those plants or something? Maybe. So what are your findings? Tell me. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. What? Um, okay, we can't talk to her. 
Did you feel that earthquake? Of course I felt it. It was like an invisible freight train went by. Invisible freight train. Any idea what caused it? This it's island the shifting has not of one, tectonic but plates, two active Nancy. or semi-active volcanoes on it. Kilauea and Mauna Loa. The more magma you got moving around down there, the more earthquakes you're gonna have. I felt dozens since I've been here. Little ones, that is. The last one was relatively big, but nothing to worry about. Okay, any Hawaiian Islanders, do you guys get a lot of earthquakes? I'm sure they do. It is a very active seismic zone. Have you heard about Kane Okala? <laughs> of course I have. Last time I went into town for my weekly mango shave ice, all people could talk about was how Kane Jeez. Okala was spotted doing this, or he was heard doing that. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's the one who trashed your camp. Oh, please. That was out well, of character for I'll Nancy. let you get back just... to your wasps. See you later. Are you absolutely certain you can't tell me what these plants are, Kim? Hold on, maybe we have to look at... Hold on. Look at them under a magnifying glass. Maybe we learn, like, reverse order. Maybe. 